Hi, welcome to uh, Math 251, Statistics for Science. Uh, my name is Clark Loveridge. You can call me Clark with no title. Uh, I'll be your uh, instructor. Um, I'll just show you the textbook uh, here. Uh, this is the textbook we'll be working with. It's an open resource text. And um, uh, you, it's introductory business statistics, but I'll be uh, bringing in examples of medical examples and some other examples. So it's not um, not um, just going to be uh, on business statistics. It's going to be, um, uh, that's not going to be the emphasis of the course. But um, I, 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 um, I, there's, I like this course, because, this book, because uh, I think it, it pretty much fits what we, we need to cover. And the statistic is not so different, um, whether you're using it for business or science or, or, or medicine. Um, and, um, but the, the, and one of the, one of the things I like about the, the book is that uh, it's available, it's what's called an open resource textbook. So it's available for a free download. Um, it's, uh, you can access it through the, the course files. Um, we'll be meeting uh, in the, uh, uh, in a classroom two days a week, uh, uh, Monday, uh, Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, it's 10, 10 50 a.m. to 12 50 p.m. And it's in room uh, W43. Um, it's in the, the West Building on main campus. Uh, so that's um, Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, attendance is uh, recommended, but it's not required. Uh, all the um, Assignments and um, exams will be submitted online, and also there's uh, YouTube videos available online. So um, you you're not required to come to class, but uh, attendance is recommended. And um, so um, let me uh, just share my screen here. Um, and uh, let's okay. Um, let me go back to uh, try this again. Share my screen. Um, and so, um, so let, let me, I'm, I'm just going to go over sort of the online aspects of the course here. Um, uh, so the, 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 the course is accessible um, through Canvas. And, um, and for the homework, it's actually through WebAssign. It's a different, but uh, we'll start out with Canvas. Um, and uh, You'll have a list of, if you registered for the course uh, and, and you go to Canvas, you'll have a list of courses for which you're uh, registered. And uh, we want to open up that course, Math 251. And um, initially, I'm going to um, make the homepage the, the syllabus. And then once the course starts, I'll make it uh, the homepage the modules. Um, so uh, this is the homepage. Um, so it uh, gives our meeting location, which I just mentioned, uh, uh, Mondays and Wednesdays uh, in the West Building. Uh, there's also a welcome video here. Uh, it talks a little bit about um, uh, the use of statistics. Uh, typically, st uh, statistics are um, uh, use use information from from a sample to make predictions about a population. So, for example. Uh, uh, a poll of, of, of a few thousand voters would be uh, used to make predictions about how millions of voters are going to vote, um, or a uh, um, testing a drug on a, a few hundred patients are used to make predictions uh, about the effects of the drug on millions of patients. Um, yeah, a poll of uh, several thousand television viewers are used to make predictions about which shows which television shows millions of voters are, are watching. And those are used to, um, that information is used to establish the, the advertising rates. Uh, advertisers are willing to pay more if they think a lot of people are watching that show. Um, so it's, it's used in a lot of different fields, uh, business, uh, science, uh, medicine, psychology. Um, it's uh, it's uh, an important uh, area of, of study. Um, I have a little bit about the 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 um, history of statistics. Um, it was um, some of the early users of statistics were um, the Arabs in the 18th and uh, 13th century, um, and later uh, Europeans started using it. Um, um, 
the um, the COVID nineteen requirements have been relaxed at the college. Uh, COVID vaccines and testing are no longer required to enter campus. Masks are strongly recommended but not required. Um, and this policy is subject to change depending on the state of the pandemic and ch any changes in city regulations. But that's uh, uh, what the, the rules are right now. Again, uh, my name is Clark Loveridge. You can call me Clark with no title. Um, and um, I, li I like math. Because part of what I like about math is I enjoy the challenge of solving math problems. Uh, it's a little bit like solving puzzles. Um, and um, just um, like a lot of people, I often uh, struggle with math. Um, and uh, so, you know, even starting in first grade, I um, tip what typically happens is that every time I uh, encounter a new concept, I, I struggle with it at first, but then then I catch on and I understand it. So um, uh, I think, um, yeah, anyway, that's been my experience with math. Um, I also enjoy participating, participatory folk dancing and folk singing uh, and spending time with family and friends. And I'm, so that's a little bit about me and I'll have to give you a chance to introduce yourselves um, and uh, I'll get, I'll say more about that later. Um, the best way to contact me, if you need to contact me is through um, um, uh, Canvas. There's um it's it's something like email in Canvas. Um, it, it's not exactly email, but it's uh, uh, it's it's the best way of, of contacting me. Uh, or uh, if if that if that's not possible, you could um, use uh, right my regular uh, email, which is uh, cloveridge at ccp.edu. Um, and uh, I have office hours. Um, actually. Um, you can you can visit my office in person if you if you prefer. It's uh, I'm in B two eighteen on main main campus in the Bunnell Building. Uh, I also um, have office hours on Zoom at the same time. It's uh, nine thirty to ten thirty Mondays, uh, ten to eleven on Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, two to three thirty p.m. Tuesdays Thursdays. You can also arrange for me to make uh, a private uh, conference. That would usually be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, I'm pretty, um, my schedule is pretty tight, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I have my um, my listed office hours on those days and also classes on those days. Um, so there's not much time for uh, scheduling anything else. Uh, again, the textbook, I, I showed you the textbook before we, uh, earlier, uh, here it is. Again, the textbook, uh, it's uh, Introductory Business Statistics. And um, you don't have to buy the, the book. Uh, there's a PDF version of the book in the course files. Uh, so you can access it that way. Uh, it's also on reserve in the library. And um, But if you want to get a hard copy of the book, they're, they're around $50. Um, what you do need to buy is uh, an access code to WebAssign. Um, WebAssign is a courseware that we'll be using uh, for the homework and exams. Uh, so in order to submit the homework and exams, you'll need to buy that. So you can use your textbook money for that. Um, if you have a, um, uh, if you have um, a, a book allowance, um, then uh, you have to, you can use it at the bookstore for for uh, for WebAssign. Um, and um, if you don't have a book allowance, if you're playing with a credit card, uh, it's cheaper to buy it directly from the publisher online. Um, so it's, it's depending on where you buy it, it's thirty-five to fifty-five dollars. Um, uh, but it's, a, it's a, if you're paying with a credit card, it's cheaper cheaper to buy it directly from the publisher. Um, so uh, you know, if you go to webassign.net, uh, there's a link here, um, and um, and then uh, enter the class key. Our class key is uh, well, actually I have to I have to update the class key here, but uh, it's going to be uh, CCP space 0514 space 1511. I hit the update it uh, on this spot also. Um, and uh, and then uh, you can, that will get you into the course. Uh, eventually you have to uh, purchase an access code in addition to the class key. Um, so uh, 
you have a, a two week uh, period where you don't have to purchase the the, uh, the access code, um, but um, eventually you have to buy that. And it's uh, again, it's thirty five to fifty five dollars depending on where you buy it. Uh, but it's cheapest if you if you're paying with a credit card, it's cheapest to buy it directly from the publisher. And if you're uh, using uh, a bookstore credit, uh, then you'll have to buy it from the bookstore. Um, and I also I recommend a, a, the TI thirty X Roman numeral two calculator. Um, I, I like this calculator because. Um, it handles uh, two variable statistics, and I think it's probably um, um, the easiest one to use, and also maybe the cheaper one, of, uh, cheapest calculator of the, of the ones that do two variable statistics. Um, and um, so I like uh, I like this calculator, and and uh, that's the one I recommend. Um, I encourage you to post your picture. Uh, uh, or your avatar in, in Canvas that helped me to uh, uh, learn names. I have my avatar um, on, the, on, the, on the top left here, I, I, a little picture of myself. Um, uh, the uh, Each week there'll be a discussion in Canvas, um, and the, the first... Um, uh, the first... Uh, Discussion is will be uh, introduce yourself. Uh, other discussions will be uh, 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 providing uh, examples and statistics. Uh, and you can uh, there's several places you can go to find examples of the use of statistics. One of them is uh, cdc.gov. That's the Center for Disease Control. That's a, a government uh, website, and they have some statistics there uh, related to. Uh, uh, health and disease, um, cc, cdc.gov. Also, um, the library uh, subscribes, to, our CCP library subscribes to uh, several databases, and uh, you can find, um, you can search the database. Uh, uh, for example, uh, you type, type in some, go to the database and type in some keywords, for example, a lifestyle and longevity or whatever it is you want to search for. And um, They'll give you some um, some links, and some of them are um, full text articles, uh, um, and some of them would be like um, just the abstract or just a sort of a summary of the article. Um, homework and exams are on WebAssign. Um, exams will be in weeks four, nine, fourteen, and sixteen. Uh, the detailed schedule is in the, in the modules, which I'll uh, I'll switch to in a moment. Um, Grading, uh, dis weekly discussions, uh, five points per week, times 15 weeks, 75 points. Uh, homework, uh, weekly homework that's in web assign, five points per week, uh, 15 times five is 75 points. Three unit exams, that's also in web assign, 100 points each, 300 points. So the total, not counting the final exam, would be 450 points. I, I count the final exam two different ways, whichever works to your advantage. Uh, 150 out of 600 points, which would be 25% of your grade, or 1050 out of 1500 points, which would be 70% of your grade, uh, whichever works to your advantage. And uh, 90 to 100 is A, 80 to 89 B, 70 to 79 C, and so forth. Um, there is a center on disability. Uh, if you have, uh, um, if you think you need some special accommodations, uh, you can see them. Um, uh, they're in BG39, room G BG39, and the Benal building, or the phone number 215-751-8050. Um, the, um, yeah, I recommend you attend class as, as much as possible. I think that'll help. But if, if you're sick, stay home. Uh, there are YouTube videos, uh, um, the, of, of uh, the, the presentations that, the presenting the different topics um, that you can watch and and the homework and exams are all online. Um, last day withdrawal, April 10th. Um, and uh, I, I encourage you to get involved in student activities. Uh, uh, there's several, you have a lot of options here and there's some links here. Uh, it's, um, there's been 
studies that uh, have suggested that um, people, as soon as we get involved in student activities, uh, feel more of a connection to the, the college, and that helps them uh, persist to, to complete their program of study. So um, the the, um, the people that get involved seem to have, be more likely to to, to finish uh, and to get their degree. Um, so anyway, there's a lot of opportunities. Uh, you can volunteer as a, as a math tutor, uh, and there's other volunteer works, not just math uh, tutoring. There's uh, lots of volunteer works. I have I'm a little bit more familiar with the uh, the math tutoring, um, uh, the CCP sports, uh, CCP clubs, uh, CCP uh, service and volunteer opportunities, uh, also the student government. So there's some links here. Um, where you can, um, uh, if you're interested in, in getting involved. Okay, so let's go to the, to the modules uh, now. On the on the sidebar here, we have the, the home, um, which uh, initially I'm gonna make the syllabus the home page, and eventually I'll make the modules the home page. Uh, let's click on modules here on the sidebar. Um, so this is, um, so there's a module for each week. So um, so each module uh, starts with an overview, a set of learning goals, uh, some uh, videos uh, presenting the topic. Uh, and um, so the, the first topics are, are, are graphs and uh, 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 measures of position like uh, mean, median, mode, uh, quartiles. Uh, 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 measures of position rather would be uh, per, um, percentiles and quartiles. A measure of center, mean, median, mode, uh, weighted mean, um, and um, uh, the the uh, week one discussion. There's a link here uh, for the week one discussion. Um, oops, I'm missing a file here. I have a picture, but um, that doesn't seem to be popping up. Um, and uh, go back to the modules. Um, The um, some of the uh, uh, discussions start out with a quote, and then uh, uh, some of them uh, just ask for a, uh, an application. Um, let's see the the week two discussion. Here, week two, I want you to um, provide an example of real world use of statistics, um, and. Uh, yeah, go back to the modules, and I actually I, I've um, I've saved some of those uh, from previous semesters. If we go into files, um, uh, into applications, uh, and um, uses of scripting. So this is some of the um, Let me do um, um, so this is a, this is a file that you can download. This is from a previous semester, but um, some real world statistics. Uh, water is uh, going to be, uh, I, I think, uh, potentially a, a very uh, a crucial uh, uh, issue to, to deal with. Uh, I think I right this last twenty or thirty years, the uh, western southwestern United States has been experiencing uh, uh, extended uh, dry periods, and uh, reservoirs are, are are drying up. So I think water use is is uh, uh, potentially a very uh, important um, issue, um, and that was one of the one of the presentations and. Here's another graph on um, uh, crypto charts. Um, we have here on infections uh, by country. Um, and I think these are, um, I think these may be uh, HIV, and it may, may be the, uh, um, the pandemic uh, infections. Um, uh, so anyway, there's uh, there's some examples of uh, use of statistics. Um, 
So, oops, okay. So I stopped sharing. Um, and let's go back to um, this page. Um, and um, okay. So in, in the files, um, you'll um, uh, in addition to applications, we have uh, some formulas and tables here that you, um, will be useful for the course. Um, and um, the um, well reviews for the exams, the, the um, uh, and also the um, uh, the transcripts. These are these are like lecture notes here, so you can you can open these up um, and. Um, uh, these are more or less lecture notes. They, they they cover the same. I call them transcript because they basically cover the same topic as as the YouTube videos. Um, and uh, the, typically, there's there's links in, in each each weekly module. There's going to be links to YouTube videos. So we have a bunch of videos for for week one, and then um, uh, so, some weeks we we only have a couple of videos. But anyway, there's um, uh there's links there and then uh the grades you can click on that um i'm not going to click on that now because i i'm not trying to show everyone's grades but uh the um you can click on that to see your grades um uh, uh list of people in the course um uh, so anyway that's uh, um um uh, that's the um that's uh, the, the the part of the course in Canvas, anyway. The and then uh, let me also go to uh, WebAssign here. Um, if we click on um, uh, click on WebAssign here, you have to. Um, that's where you sit, submit your homework each week. The first time that you uh, go into WebAssign, let's make sure I'm sharing the right screen here. Uh, the first time you go into it, you're going to have to put enter the click on enter the class key, uh, and then um, and then our class key is uh, CCP space. Um, uh, let's see what is it? Um, zero five one four space um, and uh, one five one one. And then click on enroll. And this is the right course, Math 251, Section 003, Instructor Clark Loveridge. Um, and then click on continue. Um, let's have to wait a minute here for for it to uh, process. Uh, sometimes it's, uh, the internet can be slow at times. Um, so, but anyway, it'll step, it'll uh, walk you through the process. You have to, um, it's going to ask you for, um, for money, but uh, if you read the fine print, you can actually, for the, you don't really have to pay the money for, for the first two weeks, um, but eventually you have to um, provide an access code, uh, which you can buy through the bookstore or buy through uh, WebAssign. Uh, so this doesn't some, seem to be responding right now. So, uh, uh, so anyway, I think I'll, I'll uh, it, it'll walk you through the process. If you have uh, trouble with it, you can uh, get in touch with me. Uh, you know, some sometimes students have uh, issues with it, and then uh, I I can try to uh, work with you uh, on it to to get you involved. But mo most of the time, it, it shouldn't be. I think uh, it's not going to be an issue for most students. I think. Um, So this anyway, this is not uh, 
not seem, does not seem to be opening right now. So, um, see what I'm sharing here. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, so I think um, that pretty much uh, covers what I want to say. Uh, I think I've talked long enough, probably. So uh, anyway, welcome to the course and look forward to uh, meeting you.